Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today we're going to be talking about the Ryzen 3000 series, and since it's released today, we're really just going to give a good round of applause for AMD, because rather than being a disappointing, uh, pitiful launch, like there has been plenty of those in the past, this actually has turned out to be living up to the hype quite adequately. Obviously the prices could have been a little cheaper, but for the most part, AMD has surpassed Intel and is now the performance king, period. Uh, really, the only times that uh, AMD really loses out is it doesn't. It just pretty much comes even with, uh, or with Intel. So, that raises the question, what should you buy now? What are your options and what should you consider? And to quite simply put it, looking at things, I have, I'll be getting my hands on a Ryzen 3900X when it comes, um, like two weeks or a week whenever it shows up. Um, I also have a motherboard and I'll be doing a lot of benchmarking with that as well. Um, but on a side note, on top of that, really what it boils down to is for equal single threaded performance and a whole lot more multi-threaded performance. So if you're doing anything other than gaming and you're willing to pay less on a processor, <laughs> honestly, you just gotta buy AMD all the way through. There's no physical logical reason that you should not buy these new processors over an Intel counterpart. The single threaded performance is AMD. The multi threaded performance is AMD. The cheaper processor is AMD. So really what it boils down to is AMD is the performance king now and that's really what we expected. So for today's video I just kinda wanted to inform you guys of a little bit on what I'm planning up ahead. So I have a bunch, uh, as I said I have some purchase some stuff or I have a buddy that's going to go through and purchase some stuff and I'm helping him out and I'm going to have access to all this hardware so that means a new motherboard um, and the new CPU so an X570 motherboard and a Ryzen 3900X um, we'll be doing a bunch of benchmarking, unboxing, testing uh, performance benchmarking, all the different benchmarks there will be a bunch of videos coming out probably in rapid succession um, it might be a full upload week which pretty much means I'll upload a video every day um, but pretty much rapid succession, trying a bunch of different things uh, and seeing really how it goes. Uh, after that though, it will just be a couple other videos. I've got some really, really exciting videos coming up th um, that I've been working on. Um, one being, as I said, the PC case, the custom PC case. I'm going to be following up on that a little bit more. I don't know if you guys have forgot about that, but I haven't. I'm going to be working on that as well. Um, we've got a really cool project that's not, I don't want to disclose yet, but uh, i got to make sure it's all still possible. But it will definitely be a very clickbaity, but not, the, the idea is clickbait, but it's not necessarily going to be clickbait. I'm, I'm doing what I'm going to be doing in the video, and it is going to be a pretty spicy video. Um, and then after that, we've got, as I said, a lot of stuff related to the Ryzen 3000 series launch. I do plan on getting a new motherboard perhaps. I'm debating on getting a new motherboard CPU or a new camera. Um, pretty much the biggest problem though is the new camera is high quality so the CPU that I have I don't think will personally cut it. So it's one or the other, it just depends on the timing and stuff so we'll have to see you there. Um, but today's video pretty just much just wants to say that if you watch any of my videos and any of my videos that say just wait out to see if uh, Zen 2 was as good as we all hoped, it is. It's, in some cases, even better, especially for some of the pricing, so, honestly, it's it's quite amazing, and I'm quite happy to see, regardless of who you're a fan of, regardless of what you want to see in the future, regardless of what your brand loyalty lies at, everyone should be happy, because there is now a whole lot of competition uh, for Intel and AMD, uh, and the fact that AMD has pulled off producing a processor that is better than Intel's top flagship for cheaper prices is blows my mind. Completely blows my mind. So Navi looks like it has been more of a rather okay release. So with the upcoming uh, maybe Navi uh, 2, we should expect to see a little bit better performance increases. Hopefully AMD will be putting some of their engineering work now that they are the top performance king on both platforms. Uh, maybe they'll put a little bit more work into the graphics department because Intel over there, um, as well as NVIDIA, all starting to join in and get, are already in uh, the graphics market may mean that it'll be a little bit more exciting over there. So AMD has definitely pulled off a great win here. And honestly, looking at it, it's quite impressive what they've been able to do. And so for all recommendations for 
all price points, I would have to now recommend AMD. So holy crap, guys. AMD did it. So congratulations, and keep in mind, I'll be doing a bunch of benchmarking coming up soon, hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, I don't know, I've been rapidly out of town and crazy stuff recently, but I should be good, and there'll be some cool videos to get started with. So thank you very much for watching, kind of an informational video, but I think it needed to be done. And if you're new, maybe consider subscribing for that, and if not, have a wonderful life, and see y'all later. Goodbye.